आज फिर से रॉकस्टार गेम्स ने गांडू पंच शुरू कर दिया लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन रॉकस्टार गेम्स इज बैक इन द न्यूज एंड दे आर लोकी टीजिंग जी टी एस सिक्स वंस गेम दिस इज समथिंग दैट हैज बिन ऑन गोइंग फॉर इयर्स एंड इयर्स वी ऑल्सो है लीग दैट गोज वेरी वेल विद इट वर ऑल्सो एंड बॉस सेवन मोर ट्रेलर्स कमिंग फॉर बैटल फिल्ड ट्वेंटी फोर्टी टू वर गैट इट वी ऑल्सो का पी एस फाइव न्यूज वी गॉट सम एक् बॉक्स न्यूज आउट देर थन ऑफ पीपल आर ड्रॉप इन कंकशन ग्रेड ऑन इच अदर इट्स गोट बी अड स्मैश लाइक एंड हेयर अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ मॉडरेटली एंग्री पर्क लाइक यू इज here i cover all the big gaming news so hit the subscribe bell coming in at number 8 canon is putting ai cameras in its chinese offices so first of all china number 1 mother <coughs> that only let smiling workers inside now ladies and gentlemen like this cannot be real is what i said and is probably what you're going to say as well but this is happening like they are really making that happen and i'm like we're living in a day and age where people are putting like xbox fanboy playstation fanboy solja boy fanboy i mean not many people do that but people should do that they put that in their marriage proposals otherwise they would not be marrying a chick ladies and gentlemen and <laughs> recently i also heard that there was a guy that could not get a 2k ratio and i'm like bro like why are you even trying to get a 2k ratio during that Thick skill based matchmaking error, right? People get depressed over not getting a 2k D ratio. I, it's likely just gonna fail, ladies and gentlemen. So nothing to worry about. But it goes deep. Okay, let me show you the rabbit hole. Tech company Canon has come up with a downright dystopic way to tackle the problem of workplace morale. It's installed cameras with AI enabled smile recognition technology in the offices of its Chinese subsidiary Canon Information Technology. The cameras only let smiling workers enter rooms or book meetings, ensuring that every Every employee is definitely 100% happy all the time, my guy. Just I'm I'm putting my hands together. You cannot be happy all the time, man. You know somebody once said that the jail is coming, and I'm like the jail is definitely coming. This is a sign of the end times. The Martians are here. Lock yourselves in the basement. Put your kids to bed. Hide your wives. And speaking of just that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of uh, bad news. I mean, in my opinion, this is not bad news, but to a lot of people, this can be bad news. Okay, Ghost of Tsushima box has been updated to remove only on PlayStation. As days gone and Horizon did previously sparking PC port speculation. First of all, shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation. And you can see our streets, people trying to book each other, people trying to drop a stun grenade on each other. And I'm like, dog, like don't waste the grenades, okay? Because in Soviet Russia, grenades are more valuable than people. <laughs> Only if these people knew about that, we wouldn't be talking about stuff like that. Drop potatoes, man. Potatoes are very easy to manufacture, but this always happens. I'm like, dog, like nobody's stealing your ice cream. We have AP out here. Says that more lies coming to fruition, but bad game, anyways. Oof, my man, trying to rile up the crowd out here. Oh, uh, this game is great. Oh, it's coming to PC. Never mind, it's dog. <laughs> and we have our experts trying to give us the backstory of this man. Now he always said it was, <laughs> which is funny, cause he's a pony, but constantly <laughs> is about this game, aka one of the best. Now, ladies and gentlemen, either he's trying to be an edge lord or he's trying to be an edge lord, trying to get those uh, internet points. That's likely what's up. But if he doesn't like the game, that's perfectly fine. It's not like he's gonna steal. Your ice cream, right? Uh, it's okay to let go of the mid games first. At this point, why buy a PlayStation console? Wow, I have no reason to buy a PS5 now. That's it. I'm blinding myself. What the <laughs> crazy man? And seriously though, like this game came on Sony Pony console. Uh, the chances are you must have already played it, or if you're like me, you still have to play this game. I'm personally not finding any time. Yes, I heard good things about this game. I'm gonna play this game eventually. But if this game comes to PC, yo, more and more people will be able to see how good or how terrible this game is. Everybody's different. Some people will like it. Some people will not like it, and that's perfectly fine. But overall, a lot of people have good sentiments about this game, especially the people who played this game. So personally, I view that as a W because I know that there are a lot of people out there that could not get like a Sony Pony 5, that could not get the Xbox. Series X, for example, I wanted to get a Series X, but I couldn't. I have a Sony Pony 5, ladies and gentlemen. Got lucky, okay? I'm just gonna keep about 50. Forza 5 is looking like a snack, and I'm gonna be playing that on PC. Now, if that game wasn't on PC, I wouldn't be able to play. So that's the way I view it. Also, in the news, it looks like the xCloud just got the Xbox Series X hardware upgrade for certain games, including Yakuza, Rainbow Six Siege, and others are also showing 120 FPS or GFX options and are loading faster. So a small W for the, the Xbox fanboys out there. Speaking of a small W for the Sony ponies out there, first of all, shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation. We have a new video showing Forspoken gameplay with the AMD Fidelity effects, and it kind of looks pretty good. We have a lot of grass, and you know, one of the major complaints that I get nowadays is that Skizzle, I, I'm just not finding time to go out there and touch the grass. There will be a lot of grass in this game.
game. So whenever you feel like touching the grass, uh, touch the grass in the game. We also have sus homies all around the block, man. So that 30 FPS incoming, yo. If you got 30 FPS, I mean, I'm gonna dry heave to that, ladies and gentlemen. There is no way it's gonna be 30 FPS. If it's 30 FPS, I'm gonna I'm find them, okay? Sony should buy Square Enix. And ladies and Giga Chat, speaking of buying a studio, well, he has acquired Playdemic, Golf of Clash, or Golf Clash on mobile from Warner Bros. Games and AT&T for 1.4 billion dollars in cash and surely if, if they were to uh, get our scientists and our Twitter detectives involved they would be able to negotiate this deal down to two dollars I mean you already know these are facts ladies and gentlemen special like button if you know these are facts now speaking of GTA 6 major GTA 6 leak resurfaces after new Rockstar Games job listing now ladies and gentlemen this is my favorite topic GTA 7 win GTA 7 win apparently this leak happened a while ago I did not cover this but now it makes a little bit more sense because of what Rockstar did say and I'm gonna get down to that but this is a leak okay it said that GTA Online receiving four large updates leading into the GTA 6 marketing campaign which will take place over live events improve and redesign AI and pathfinding for pedestrians enemies and traffic and these are kind of facts because earlier this year Rockstar did file a patent regarding the NPC tech and the NPC tech patent did say that it's gonna be really really good like the AI will be way better and stuff like that so yeah it's likely gonna be true this is a job listing in question and I quote the the role will be responsible for executing all in-game marketing campaigns for Red Dead Online and Grand Theft Auto Online. This is a full-time permanent position based in our Soho, Manhattan studio. The job description says we work closely with teams across all of publishing and the worldwide development studios to ensure seamless execution of plans internally in our game titles and across the world, including the always-on marketing for our online game titles, Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online. So yeah, I do see the slight connection that they make, but let me just keep keep about 50 man we're gonna get this game when we're 80 years old or i should say 90 years old at this point because time do be kind of flying okay also the homie tom came out and he says that there are at least seven more battlefield 2042 trailers in the works and main uh, shout out to the homies for adding me in the situation i did get hit in the spot by hearing that and he says that we're probably going to be getting two trailers on july 22nd that's when they're going to be showing more gameplay and we have a scientist out on the loose who says that one is going to be the multiplayer trailer second will be the gamescom trailer third can be the maps trailer new game mode that might be like for the hazard zone right uh release trailer the sixth one might be uh, for the frostbite one and the seventh one I, I think it would be about that battleful hub the third mode case closed ladies and gentlemen and also in the news these are gonna be all the games coming to the Xbox Game Pass. The only one I personally know about is the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit remaster, ladies and gentlemen. And this was the game that I remember no laughing to death, okay? I was uh, playing Cops and Robbers online all day, every day when the game first came out. But check out this video on the screen. Hit the subscribe bell so I can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.